9 Ways to Use Spring Dandelions Spring is here, and along with the sunny weather comes a new crop of dandelions. But don't pull out your weed whacker just yet. Dandelions are more than just pesky weeds. Not only are they edible, but they have excellent medicinal properties as well. If you have dandelions growing in your backyard, or if you know of a safe location like a field or park that hasn't been sprayed with pesticides and that isn't near a road, so you don't get hit by a car, pick a bunch, rinse them well to get rid of any bugs and dirt, and then put them to good use. Here are 9 ways to get started. Number 1. Add to salads. Dandelion greens, or the leaves of this plant, are a classic to add to salads, but they can also stand on their own. For optimal flavor, pick these greens when they are young and small. You can add them to your favorite salad as a base or even just dress them with salt and pepper for a hearty side dish. But all parts of the plant are edible. The flowers taste like honey, so adding them will make for a sweet addition. Number 2. Boil the roots or the flower heads to make tea. Dandelion root tea has long been known as a liver cleanser. It's also great for fighting inflammation and can help lower blood pressure. To make this tea, all you have to do is wash the roots thoroughly, chop them into smaller pieces, and toss them in a pot of boiling water. Allow them to boil for 20 minutes, then strain out the roots. Drink it with honey, lemon, or milk. Or drink it straight up if that's what you prefer. Alternatively, you can place the flower heads in a pot of boiling water and boil for about 10 minutes. Then, let it cool for about 15 minutes before straining out the flowers. Number 3. Make Dandelion Jam You can make your own dandelion jam to spread on toast or use it as a topping for desserts like ice cream. It's delicious and super easy to make. First, gather a few mess in jars. Then, put the following ingredients in a saucepan. 1 pint of dandelion petals. 2 cups of water, 1 and a half cups of sugar, 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, and 3 ounces of liquid pectin. Bring this mixture to a boil and cook for 1 minute, stirring constantly. Then, remove the pan from the heat and stir for another minute until the pectin is completely dissolved. Next, ladle the mixture into the jars and cover each one with a lid. Let them stand until the jam sets, and then store the jars in a cool dark place. Number 4. Fry up the flowers to make this delicious treat. Pick your dandelion flowers when they're fully open, and then wash them thoroughly. Next, pat dry them with some paper towel to ensure all the moisture is out of the petals. Dip each flower in your favorite batter and then deep fry until golden brown. Or simply pan fry them in olive oil until they are crispy on both sides. Sprinkle with salt to taste and serve. Number 5. Make Dandelion Infused Oil Making dandelion infused oil is a great way to capture the unique, light flavor of these cheerful flowers. And this oil can be used in many ways from replacing olive oil in your favorite recipes to making soothing salves and bath salts. To make the infused oil, simply add three parts dandelion petals to one part carrier oil, such as sunflower, coconut, or jojoba, in a jar with an airtight lid. Store your jar in a cool dark place for three to four weeks before straining out the petals with a chisa cloth. Once strained, your dandelion oil is ready for use. Number 6. Make Dandelion Salve If your skin is feeling dry or chapped due to sun exposure or weather conditions, dandelion salve can give you immediate relief. It can also be used on bug bites to soothe itching and promote healing. To make your salve, put a double boiler on medium heat and melt together. 1 ounce of beeswax, either grated or pellets, 1 cup of dandelion infused oil, 2 ounces of coconut oil. Once all the ingredients have melted together, remove the pot from the heat and let the mixture cool for about 5 minutes. At this point, you can add some essential oils if you'd like. About 20 to 30 drops will do. 
Carefully pour the mixture into tins or jars and let it cool for a few hours until completely solid. Number 7. Make Dandelion Bud Capers To make pickled dandelion capers, first gather some young buds. You'll want to do this in early spring when they are still tightly closed. Then, boil one cup of water with one cup of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of salt. Put the buds in glass jars and pour the mixture over them until they're all covered. Once cooled, put the lids on and store your capers in your refrigerator for at least 24 hours before you eat them. The vinegar will preserve the bulbs, making them safe to eat without roasting or cooking further. Dandelion bud capers have a milder taste than true capers, but with a similar texture and appearance. Number 8. Make Dandelion Vinegar The next time you feel a little bit under the weather, try drinking some of this homemade medicine on its own or mixed with warm water. It will help boost your immune system so that pesky cold doesn't turn into something worse. Dandelion vinegar is also a great way to add some springtime flavor to your salad. All you need to do is put about one cup of dandelions into a pint-sized glass jar. Fill the jar with apple cider vinegar, put the lid on, and let it sit in room temperature for two weeks. After that, strain out the flowers and store your dandelion vinegar in a sealed jar in a cool place. Number 9. Make Dandelion Bath Salts you can also make your own soothing dandelion bath salts at home. Just mix 1 cup of sea salt, half a cup of Epsom salt, half a cup of cornstarch, half cup of dried dandelion petals, and 1 teaspoon of lavender and 1 teaspoon of chamomile essential oil. Stir well to combine all of the ingredients and place your bath salts in an airtight container. When you're ready for a relaxing bath, Add about a quarter cup to your bath water and enjoy. Also check out our premium garden tools set, which will help you out in your gardening. Link is given in the description. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video offered some useful information, give it a like and share it with your friends. It allows us to create more great content. Also watch our previous video about new technique to grow guava tree with 100% success. We hope you will like this video too and it would help you. If you want to see more videos from us, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video.